Hello everyone, welcome back. It is uh, Saturday, May the 4th. Yeah, May the 4th, 2019. Uh, this morning was a relatively nice day. It is raining now, which yeah, is no big deal. We, uh, a little rain doesn't hurt anything along the way. But uh, we picked... Uh, about six gallons of strawberries. We picked uh, about a gallon yesterday evening and uh, then about four and a half today. So, yeah, around six gallons of strawberries. So they're just now starting to come in. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's May the 4th, and uh, sometimes I get in my head that I'm running behind, but I'm really not that far behind. We have two acres of corn planted. We have, uh, of course, our strawberries coming in. I have ground ready for the cabbage. I've got to get the plastic down on it. Plants will be ready for that in a few days. We'll get that in the ground. Get another, uh, another uh, cornfield ready. <coughs> but um, this corn here, this field here is... Uh, field I planted the other day uh, actually it's been planted let's see uh, 10 days and it's up and I'm gonna step out here in the rain right quick and show you guys and I planted it pretty deep so I've been kind of keeping an eye on it but you can see and it looks like we're getting a pretty good stand it's hard to tell at this stage uh, you know because some of it ain't up yet but uh, it, you can see it out the rows so it, it looks pretty good uh, I'm taking the trash off right now currently hold on all right so uh, but like I said it's May the 4th it's still early for us I was telling a guy today I believe it was either 2000 or two th year 2000 or year 2001 I had an acre of uh, burley tobacco get froze in the field on the 22nd day of May. And then in uh, sometime in May 2007, we had a hard freeze. Got down to 14 then. It was down to like 20 when the tobacco got froze. So uh, we're not all that late yet. Uh, like I said, you know, we're, we've got about eight acres of corn to go five acres of pumpkins two and a half acres of cabbage and about two acres of winter squash and that's that's about it for this year uh it's uh yeah that's yeah that's the 20 acres so uh that's about it but anyhow that's uh just a brief update we uh uh we'll be cutting hay in about three to four weeks that's coming so uh, what we're trying to do right now is uh, get as much done as we can we're gonna start I did hook the irrigation system I didn't hook it up I started work on the irrigation system for the strawberries today we'll start feeding them pushing them uh, you know we're gonna be pretty consumed with picking strawberries here for the next ah uh, month probably and uh, and in our free time I've got to uh, Get some fencing done. Get the ground ready. Get more corn in the ground. Get some cabbage in the ground. Of course, uh, on the cabbage and broccoli, we're only doing like uh, 2,500, 3,000 plants at a time. So it uh, it's not like our normal cabbage and broccoli. Uh, basically, last couple years, prices on those have been such that it's uh, been difficult for us to... Uh, do very well on it and to be honest uh, you know uh, some of the pricing on sweet corn has been tough too but uh, we're, we're doing a lot of direct sales retail sales as well as selling through our food hub uh, that makes a big difference in our sweet corn but anyhow if, uh, if you like what we're doing want to follow us along please subscribe hit that little notification bell so you'll get notified uh, when we post a video yeah, you know, if you have, we appreciate it. See a video you like or whatever, uh, comment, please do so. 
and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate you watching. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye.